that we're installing, we're, we're gonna be installing the production equipment. This seems to be an unpredictable change. Before that, Elon Musk reassured investors in a conference call that we are in the final round for the Cybertruck and that its production would start in the middle of next year. But now, newly leaked information is shocking the public's opinion that Tesla will push back the introduction of electric trucks to the end of 2023. Moreover, this pickup will use 2170 batteries instead of the 4680 cells. So, why is Cybertruck getting delayed and what's happening? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to the channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Over the years, Musk has boasted about how Tesla is heavily innovating with the 4680 cell battery pack, which would give the Tesla Cybertruck its 610 mile range. The Cybertruck is scheduled to leave the factory with the all-new 4680 batteries, but analysts claim that ramping up production of the new cells need to catch up. A higher energy density format that is also experiencing production hell. A very limited capacity does not ensure having the necessary supply to meet the production of the vehicle. While putting the new battery into mass production in multiple factories is high on Tesla's list of priorities, the company is facing a number of issues with manufacturing the advanced pack. The new lithium-ion battery cells are produced using a dry coating technique that is so far unproven on a large scale. As Tesla also announced in its third quarter report, early production has begun for the semi-trailer truck. When asked, CEO Musk said semi does not use 4680 batteries, so this shouldn't be a limiting factor for the Cybertruck or anything else either. Tesla's CEO explained that their own battery production is growing exponentially. Our production of 4680 cells has tripled in Q3 compared to the previous quarter. Uh, we are finally gaining rapid traction on the 4680 cell. Musk has always refused to place the blame for delays on the battery pack, but has also not shared details on its production volume, so his statement can be also interpreted to mean that the 4680 battery is no longer available for the Cybertruck. Uh. This could again delay the start of production, or according to one analyst, there may not be enough 4680s by the end of 2023. After that, a major overhaul of the Cybertruck will be required to switch to the previous 2170 format. So how will this battery change affect Cybertruck? Another potential setback for the Cybertruck will be its eventual price. Tesla's next-gen 4680 lithium-ion battery could be produced for roughly half the cost of the current battery pack, while the 2170 battery contains 4,400 individual cells that require four spot welds each. By contrast, the 4680 pack contains just 830 cells with two welds per cell, requiring approximately 940 fewer welds and leading to reduced production costs. So it's not surprising that Cybertruck will increase in price when they eventually use the 2170 battery cell. Sources say it's estimated to increase by two to four thousand US dollars. So the specs and the pricing will be different. I hate to give a little bit of bad news, but I think there's no way to have anticipated the inflation that we've seen and the various issues. What I can say is that the Cybertruck will be one hell of a product. It's going to be a damn fine machine, Elon Musk said. The Cybertruck was originally supposed to cost just under 40,000 US dollars, but that will be impossible to achieve in the short term. Moreover, since 2019, Tesla has already increased the prices for its entire product range several times. For users outside the US of A, the vehicle is just a dream away. Because in its current form, the Cybertruck is not roadworthy for Europe and for many other countries around the world. Moreover, the new 4680 lithium ion battery cells can produce five times as much energy with six times the power and approximately 16% more range than the current 2170 cells. Tesla says its tri-motor Cybertruck can manage 500 miles between charges, which means that with the use of a 2170, the range is reduced to 420 miles. For buyers, this appears to be bad news. But how does the constant delay and alteration of the original super battery structure of the Cybertruck affect Tesla? The Cybertruck is one of the most highly anticipated launches in the EV segment. Every time vehicle production is delayed, Tesla effectively loses ground to other EV makers with pickups in their production pipeline. Since automotive factories often take a while to ramp up production rates, even if Tesla were to begin production in late 2023, 
it'd only be able to roll out large numbers of Cybertrucks in 2024, which would reflect in its revenues only later. The late ramp to full output means Tesla won't be seeing revenue from the Cybertruck until early 2024. The number of pre-orders is still stunning and reportedly exceeds 1.47 million. Therefore, in 2023, Tesla will lose around $118 billion in revenue. And investors wonder if Tesla stock is a smart investment. Shares of Tesla moved lower by between 1-2% to in pre-market trading, adding to a nearly 6% decline. The Cybertruck delay could cause the stock to, to drop even further. Moreover, this frustrates many users who currently have other alternatives on the market. Tesla keeps claiming that Cybertruck will be launched soon, but Cybertruck buyers have been waiting for years. It looks like Elon Musk is juggling customer patience. Those customers already paid a fee of $100 and at a production rate of half a million units per year, it'd take the EV maker six years to fill that ordering bank. But according to Musk, the order book is filled for three years after the start of assembly. So what solutions will Tesla implement? Tesla wants to keep the price of the Cybertruck as low as possible. This aspect will mean that either Tesla accelerates the production of this 4680 battery cell structure or redesign the pack to be able to use the current 2170 cells at least in this first phase. If the production of the 4680 cells increases significantly, it will be enough to supply Tesla vehicles, especially the Cybertruck and Semi. In any case, fans will be happy to hear the Cybertruck is still coming, if a bit late. If things go according to plan, the Cybertruck will hit the streets by mid-2023 at the earliest to compete with big rifles like Ford's F-150 Lightning, Rivian's R1T, the electric Chevrolet Silverado, and the reborn GMC Hummer EV. How do you feel about Cybertruck using the 2170 battery? And do you believe it'll continue to be delayed? And what about Elon Musk and what he promises? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support. And as always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.